IRS scandal just erupts, leaked documents seal Obama's fate. Soviet Union. Great planning, isn't that so? With a huge number of Americans concentrating on charges and the IRS this coming end of the week, it's a decent time to recall the IRS has been utilized or really manhandled, in seeking after liberal political interests. How about we simply say there's a justifiable reason motivation behind why Congress needs IRS manager John Koskinen to leave, too terrible he won't. With the Obama organization off the beaten path, investigations are being sought after in regards to charges that Mr. Obama and his staff utilize the IRS to target conservative groups. This can appear as serious reviews and additionally deferring the applications for non-revenue-driven status. Despite the technique, it's a criminal mishandle of the forces of an organization that Americans are not too obsessed with in any case. It's especially troubling since liberals like Obama get the chance to utilize citizen cash to subsidize these misuse, while the associations themselves must utilize contributor stores, not to propel the motivation behind the group, but rather to pay lawful charges to safeguard themselves from political assaults. At that point you have Ben Carson discovering a large portion of a trillion dollars worth of fraud, and one needs to ponder, what was Obama truly doing in the Oval Office? Judicial Watch is an unimaginably important asset in revealing government defilement. Here's some current news on the present subject. Last week we released 695 pages of new documents containing admissions by IRS officials that the agency used inappropriate political labels to screen the tax-exempt applications of conservative organizations. Other records reveal that the IRS was going to require 501, c. 4, non-profit organizations to restrict their alleged political activities if they opted for expedited consideration of their tax-exempt applications. This exclusive speaks to a few the reports Judicial Watch has extricated through its Freedom of Information Act claims. Be that as it may, here's a powerful disclosure. In an August 9, 2013, memo, Karen, Schiller, then Acting Director, Exempt Organizations Rulings and Agreements, admitted the IRS used political labels in targeting the groups for special scrutiny and possible audit. Also, to think we used to make jokes about the previous Soviet Union utilizing its administration offices to threaten its subjects who didn't tow their party loyalty. Obviously, we're not blaming the IRS for the taking of honest lives like its partners in the old Soviet Union did, just of making the lives of those on the wrong side of the political range hopeless. None of this ought to come as a shock. Obama, Hillary, those on the left are, by definition, enthusiasts of a major, capable focal government. They have sold out citizens over and over. Subsequently, we get this kind of mishandle. Be that as it may, in the event that you think this is another disclosure, I propose you invest some energy perusing Thomas Jefferson. Sin.